Well, you just heard the sound of dispatchers getting their first calls as they responded to a historic crash on I-55 yesterday where six people have died and over 30 people are hurt. Thank you for joining us. I'm Matthew White. And I'm Karina Rubio. As of this morning, the interstate is still shut down. It's on I-55 south of Springfield near Divernon. Crews are there working to clean up the aftermath and WCI3's Bradley Swing joins us live. Brad, you've been out there for quite some time this morning. What are you seeing? Karina, I've been out here since about 4.30, and since then, I've seen trucks, dump trucks, leaving with loads of debris and everything of that sort. Now, they actually did just open up the southbound lane. So you can see there's a couple semis behind me and, and some cars driving behind me. Those are now on the interstate. The northbound lane is still closed at this time. They are right now sweeping it. If you would have taken my live shot just a little bit ago, there would have been a lot of dust coming. Um, and that being said, the wind is still here and the dust is still blowing. I've seen some dust kick up as I've been here. And as for how long this can take to investigate, ISP is still questioning that. many days ahead of us for our traffic crash reconstruction unit um, to process the scene, to work the scene, to get all of the vehicles removed. Now, I called this morning and they said they were not sure exactly when the interstate, will, all the interstates will be open and when everything will happen here. Again, the southbound lane is open. Now, we have learned now two hospitals have discharged two dozen patients out of the several that have been taken to hospitals after this accident. And National Transportation Safety Board is still deciding on whether or not to investigate this. Reporting live in Montgomery County, I'm Bradley Swank, WCIA3, your local news leader.